Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to continue our discussion of pressure and reflections and visualizing uh, how energy moves in our room. So this video is going to be about seeing reflections. Our first video in this series was about seeing pressure. So we want to divide the energy that goes into a room into two parts, pressure and reflections. Low frequency is pressure. Reflections are middle and high frequency. Low frequency is everything below 100 hertz, 125 hertz. Reflections, everything above. That's how we're going to frame the energy in a room for 2025 as we move forward with this video series. We've got to stay in this paradigm because that'll help us understand everything. Treatment, distortions, resolution. If we follow this paradigm, we'll be in pretty good shape. We must be able to see sound. We hear it. Now we have to see it. And the thing about a room is the dimensions of a room determine everything. So I know a lot of you, when you send in your room forms, you, you want to describe a lot about your room and how unique your room is. Well, it's not unique. It's not that different. And you really don't need to go through all of that because the dimensions are the most critical part. The dimensions, uh, if you want to compare the room dimensions with, with people, people's behavior is based on uh, norms, values, mores, learning experience through their lives. Room is a lot simpler. Everything that goes on in a room, all the distortions and stuff that we hear, based only on one thing, a lot simpler than people, dimensions. Okay? So once we have dimensions, we're in good shape. So we're going to be able to see sound so we can understand it. Now, how are we going to do that? We're going to have to use a visual aid. So we're going to use an RTA. It's a real-time analyzer. Here's a prompt for the app that you can download from the Apple Store. RTA Pro, it's always green. So just go for the green and, you, and you'll be able to see it. So download the RTA Pro on your phone. And then what I want you to do is take it, a piece of cardboard, and just cover below 100. For pressure, we did everything above 100. Now this one, we're going to do everything above 100. Pressure was below 100. So I, I don't want you to look at pressure. I just want to focus on reflections. So just take a piece of cardboard, cover your face, your phone, and then we'll focus on this. Okay? So that's how we're going to do this. Everything above 100 hertz, we're going to uh, look at. And I want you to study the movement. That's the most critical part. How is the energy moving? How is each octave band moving? Study the definition of octave bands. How many notes are there in an octave band? Do a little homework here. I'm not going to keep going back and re-educate all the time. We're going to keep moving forward, and we're going to keep these tools in place to help us do that. So study the movement, and then I want you to put your comments on YouTube so we can share it and have a, a group discussion, so to speak, on YouTube. And it saves me a lot of work answering ind individual emails. So this is our program for seeing reflections. The first video was seeing pressure. So we're trying to get the tools in place so we can understand this nightmare of room acoustics. And then I think you're going to be able to see what works and what doesn't and how, how you need to apply it to your situation. Hope this helps. Thank you. In these three videos, same three videos that we had for the pressure um, video where we were watching everything below 100 hertz and we were watching the movement of those octave bands. Now we're gonna look at everything above 100 hertz. And remember, this is gonna be classified as reflections, pressure reflections. So let's notice everything above 100 hertz in these three songs. So let's look at the movement of everything above 100 hertz compared to everything below 100 hertz. We have the two videos now, and you can compare them. Same three songs, so you should have a good uh, way to compare it. Notice the movement. Notice how the low frequencies below 100 worked independently, right? Notice the movement here that we have in these, okay? Completely different kind of movement. And that's what I want you to notice in your room. Notice the peaks. Notice the valleys. Notice the overall response of the room when the song is over. And that can be measured with that dotted red line on the RTA. Notice the peaks, you know, everything should stay in balance. You should sit 
a nice target baseline and, and work towards it. Um, notice the attack when a group of, of octave bands moves together and then the following harmonics. So you can see the movement in these groups, and, and that's what we want to look at. That, that's the goal of your room. All righty. Hope this helps. Thank you.
Hi everyone, Dennis again. I want to walk you through the room form process. So go to the home page and click on the room analysis tab. Once you get to the room analysis tab, then it's going to ask you for information. So left side, start my room analysis, orange button. Click on that. And once we get to that, it's going to ask you just six or eight things, dimensions, structure, composition, things like that. Fill out that. Now, here's the most important thing about that part. You can include up to six pictures. So stand in the middle of the room, take pictures of each wall, and take a picture of the floor and the ceiling, and attach it to this form. Okay? Once you do that, you'll be prompted to schedule an appointment in our electronic calendar. Go ahead and do that. The calendar automatically adjusts for your time zone. Please call on the scheduled time. We do not call these numbers. So we're very, very busy. We want to make sure that everybody gets taken care of. So it's your obligation to call at the scheduled time. And then we'll discuss your room. And I'll give you three different room resolutions to consider. Alrighty. Hope this helps. Thank you.